everyone! As per usual, I will be starting out this makeup tutorial by applying my concealer, which is actually from a swap that I did with Clara from Sweet K Blogs. That's why I have this collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. You can't get it in North America, so yeah, that is why. <laughs> I'm also gonna use my Dream Lumi Concealer by Maybelline just to highlight under my eyes a little bit and just blend it out with my little tiny mini beauty blender, which is so cute. And then I applied my new Jouer Luminizing Moisture Tint, which I actually got from iMats New York. This stuff is beautiful, it gives you a very dewy finish, which I love, especially for spring and summer. And if you don't like that kind of finish, it's not too overpowering, so I think pretty much anybody could get away with wearing it. I ended up powdering just a little bit in my T-zone, so it's not too dewy. And then for my eyeshadow, I'm using this new palette from Pacifica, which is a part of the Made to Matter collection at Target and Ulta. It's all eco-friendly, packaging it can be recycled and I am actually going to be giving away one of these palettes so go ahead and head to the description box to check out the rules. So I used a very light eyeshadow for the inner parts of my eyelids and now I'm using this really pretty peachy color which is a really nice pop of color for spring if you don't want to do anything too overpowering for day to day wear. And then I used like a darker brown kind of golden shimmery color just on the outer corners of my eyes and then blended everything out with the matte brown eyeshadow in the palette. I used the same darker brown golden eyeshadow on my lower lash line just to smoke it out a little bit and all of the eyeshadows I use are from the exact same Pacifica palette and now for the eyeliner I decided to use this dark olive green with some gold reflex in it for eyeliner because it's very soft for an everyday kind of makeup look and then I used the new CoverGirl mascara which is called the Super Sizer and I think you're supposed to actually like twirl the wand when you use it to get the best effect so I kind of just did what I usually do and I still really, really like how my eyelashes turned out. Next, I used this eyeshadow from the same Pacifica palette, which is kind of like a nude color, and I just used it as a brow bone highlight. And then I filled in my eyebrows with my MAC Brunette pencil, and then I set them in place with my Essence Clear Lash and Brow Gel as usual. Now here is where I want to give you guys a little suggestion because I totally screwed this up. I did this in a weird order. I applied my powder bronzer first. I'm going to be using a cream blush, and if you are going to use a cream blush, I highly suggest using a powder bronzer after you've applied all of your cream. I don't know what I was thinking. That's what I was going to do in the first place, but this blush is amazing and it's beautiful so it wasn't that big of a deal but if you apply a cream product like this Becca highlighter over top of your powder especially a powder bronzer it can get a little bit blotchy so just keep that in mind if you're going to do that I ended up fixing it afterwards anyways but it's just something to keep in mind and then for my lips I used a Revlon lip butter and that is the finished makeup look I think it's very easy and pretty for an everyday spring kind of thing and now on to my crazy hair so I used this Ionic hairbrush by Conair and this is really cool because it's actually battery powered and basically what it does is it's kind of like an ionic hair dryer it uses like negative ion technology or something like that it's on the box but basically it's supposed to defrizz and de-static your hair which is an issue that I have all the time so I've been loving this brush and if you live in Canada you can buy that brush from London Drugs then I just use a little bit of smoothing serum to make sure everything just stays where it is and doesn't go all crazy and get like crazy flyaways too. So basically what I did is I did a Dutch kind of French braid on the side of my head, but I sectioned off like my bangs which aren't really bangs, but you know what I mean. And then I just kind of pulled out different sections of the braid to make it bigger and a little bit messier. I'm all about like that effortless hairstyle because I'm super lazy and it just kind of goes with like what I wear on an everyday basis. And then on the other side, I just did a regular braid and then kind of pulled them out as the same as I did on the other side. So. Basically, I just pulled all of my hair back except for those two front sections that I left out and I'm just putting it into like a low messy bun. And then I just took the two sections that I left out in the front and then I just loosely pinned them back around where my bun is and they're kind of concealed by the bun anyways, but if you need any extra bobby pins, you can obviously put those in there just to help everything stay in place. And then I just used my fingers just to rough up the whole look a bit and then pull out some pieces in the front and then just kind of like scrunch up the back to make it look a little bit more voluminous. And that is the finished hair look. It's super, super easy to do. You also don't need to do the French braid. You can also just do one 
regular braid on that side, but it's totally up to you. Now for the outfit, I'm just wearing some dark denim jeans from American Eagle. My shirt is a customized tee from QT.com, and I can leave the link in the description box below. I thought it was very cute, especially for the summer. And then my nails are actually nail wraps from GoScratchIt.com. I will also leave the link to those in the description box if you want. And then I'm just wearing some shoes from the bay. So that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you did. Also, you can check out some of my other videos on my channel right now, and I will see you guys in my next video.